It's called the National Stem Cell Foundation Scholars Program, and WKU was chosen to host it. More than 100 teachers applied, but only 10 could be selected. Now they're here for a week of learning that will have an immediate impact on their classrooms. Three, two, one. Ultimately, our purpose is to help them develop their own sense of creativity. Creativity is soaring this week at the National Stem Cell Foundation Scholars Program. The ideas. That's what I need. I just, these fresh ideas. Stacy Clark Thomas came all the way from Alaska. She's one of 10 middle school science teachers selected for the inaugural program. It was exactly what I was looking for. I've been struggling with trying to get my kids to think at a higher level. Whether it's building rockets. We're showing them how to take uh, literally a, a sprinkler valve that you would buy at a hardware store and turn that into a rocket launcher. Or building iPad microscopes. Taking the lens out of a laser pointer, a little inexpensive bought at the department store laser pointer and turn their, mic or their iPad or their cell phone into a microscope. Two instructors are taking turns exploring the physical science and biological science behind the activities. Rico asks questions in the way that lets you think about what's the intent of the lesson rather than, okay, it's a cool activity, but what do you want the kids to learn? These teachers come with a wealth of strategies and ideas too to share. So what you're getting is a wonderful community that's being established. When it comes to professional development, the teachers agree this week of training is on a whole other level. I'd been here three hours yesterday and was like, man, this is the best PD I've ever been to. Extremely humbling, but stimulating is all get out because you're learning so much. The teachers will continue collaborating through social media and meet up in Washington, D.C. in January to share some of their own classroom projects. The National Stem Cell Foundation is providing funding for this program at WKU for four more years. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.